Etro. An atoll is a ring-shaped coral reef including a coral rim that encircles a lagoon partially or completely. There may be coral islands K's on the coral rim. Usage The word atoll comes from the Teve, an Indo-Aryan language spoken on the Maldive Islands, word Atholu, Teve, Atholu, OED. Its first recorded use in English was in 1625 as Otolon. Charles Darwin recognized its indigenous origin and coined, in his The Structure and Distribution of Coral Reefs, the definition of atolls as circular groups of coral islets that is synonymous with Lagoon Island. P2. More modern definitions of atoll describe them as annular reefs enclosing a lagoon in which there are no promontories other than reefs and islets composed of reef detritus, or in an exclusively morphological sense, a ring-shaped ribbon reef enclosing a lagoon. Distribution and size The distribution of atolls around the globe is instructive. Most of the world's atolls are in the Pacific Ocean, with concentrations in the Tuamotu Islands, Caroline Islands, Marshall Islands, Coral Sea Islands, and the island groups of Kiribati, Tuvalu and Tokelau, and Indian Ocean, the atolls of the Maldives, the Lakshadweep Islands, the Chagos Archipelago and the outer islands of the Seychelles. The Atlantic Ocean has no large groups of atolls, other than eight atolls east of Nicaragua that belong to the Colombian Department of San Andres and Providencia in the Caribbean Sea. Rebuilding corals will thrive only in warm tropical and subtropical waters of oceans and seas, and therefore atolls are only found in the tropics and subtropics. The northernmost atoll of the world is Kur Atoll at 28 Deg 24 N, along with other atolls at the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. The southernmost atolls of the world are Elizabeth Reef at 29 Deg 58 S, and nearby Middleton Reef at 29 Deg 29 S, in the Tasman Sea, both of which are part of the Coral Sea Islands territory. The next southerly atoll is Duchy Island in the Pitcairn Islands group, at 24 Deg 40 S. Bermuda is sometimes claimed as the northernmost atoll at a latitude of 32 Deg 24 N. At this latitude coral reefs would not develop without the warming waters of the Gulf Stream. However, Bermuda is what is termed a pseudo-atoll because its general form, while resembling that of an atoll, has a very different mode of formation. While there is no atoll directly on the equator, the closest atoll to the equator is Aranuka of Kiribati, with its southern tip just 12 kilometers north of the equator. The largest atolls by total area, Lagoon Plus Reef and Dry Land, are listed below. Sauda Malabank, Western Indian Ocean, 35,000 km2, without separate North Bank, submerged, least depth 7 m, Lansdowne Bank, west of New Caledonia, 21,000 km2, submerged, least depth 3.7 m, Great Chagos Bank, 12,642 km2, Land area only 4.5 km2, Reed Bank, Spratly Islands, 8866 km2, submerged, least depth 9 m, Macclesfield Bank, South China Sea, 6448 km2, submerged, least depth 9.2 m, North Bank, Ritchie Bank, north of Santa de Mala Bank, 5800 km2, submerged, least depth less than 10 m, Rosalind Bank, Caribbean Sea, 4500 km2, submerged, least depth 7.3 m, Bodathiladhun Mathi, Philadhun Mathi and Maladhun Madulu, Atoll, Maldives, two names, but a single atoll structure, 3850 km2, land area 51 km2, Chesterfield Islands, New Caledonia, 3500 km2, land area less than 10 km2, Havadu Atoll, Maldives. 3152 km2, land area 38.5 km2, Truck Lagoon, Shuk, 3130 km2, Sabalana Islands, Indonesia, 2694 km2, Makuro Atoll, Federated States of Micronesia, Lagoon, is 40 km2, land area of 1.7 km2, divided among more than 40 islets that lie on the northern, eastern and southern sides of the lagoon. Liho Reef, Coral Sea, 25-29 km2, land area 1 km2, Bases de Pedro, 
2,474.33 km2, submerged, least depth 16.4 m, Ardacia Bank, Spratly Islands, 2347 km2, K on the south side, Quadraline, Marshall Islands, 2304 km2, Land Area 16.4 km2, Diamond Islets Bank, Coral Sea, 2282 km2, Land Area less than 1 km2, Namanuato Atoll, Shuk, 2267 km2, Land Area 4.4 km2, Ari Atoll, Maldives, 2252 km2, Land Area 69 km2, Mara Reef, Northwestern Hawaiian Islands, 1934 km2, Rangiro, Tuamotu Islands, 1762 km2, Land Area 79 km2, Kolahumadulu Atoll, Maldives, 1617 km2, Land Area 79 km2, Carfu Atoll, North Mail Atoll, Maldives, 1565 km2, Land Area 69 km2, Ontong Java, Solomon Islands, 1500 km2, Land Area 12 km2. In most cases, the land area of an atoll is very small in comparison to the total area. Atoll islands are low-lying, with their elevations less than 5 meters, 9. Measured by total area, Livo, 1146 km2, is the largest raised coral atoll of the world, followed by Rennell Island, 660 km2. More sources however list as the largest atoll in the world in terms of land area Kai Richamati, which is also a raised coral atoll, 321.37 km2 land area. According to other sources even 575 km2, 160 km2 main lagoon, 168 km2 other lagoons, according to other sources 319 km2 total lagoon size. The remains of an ancient atoll as a hill in a limestone area is called a reef knoll. The second largest atoll by dry land area is Aldebra with 155 km2. The largest atoll in terms of island numbers is Havadu Atoll in the south of the Maldives with 255 islands. Formation In 1842, Darwin explained the creation of coral atolls in the southern Pacific Ocean based upon observations made during a five-year voyage aboard the HMS Beagle from 1831 to 1836. Accepted as basically correct, his explanation involved considering that several tropical island types, from high volcanic island, through barrier reef island, to atoll, represented a sequence of gradual subsidence of what started as an oceanic volcano. He reasoned that a fringing coral reef surrounding a volcanic island in the tropical sea will grow upwards as the island subsides, sinks, becoming an almost atoll, or barrier reef island, as typified by an island such as Achitaki in the Cook Islands, Bora Bora and others in the Society Islands. The fringing reef becomes a barrier reef for the reason that the outer part of the reef maintains itself near sea level through biotic growth, while the inner part of the reef falls behind becoming a lagoon because conditions are less favorable for the coral and calcareous algae responsible for most reef growth. In time, subsidence carries the old volcano below the ocean surface and the barrier reef remains. At this point, the island has become an atoll. Atolls are the product of the growth of tropical marine organisms, and so these islands are only found in warm tropical waters. Volcanic islands located beyond the warm water temperature requirements of hermatypic, rebuilding, organisms become seamounts as they subside and are eroded away at the surface. An island that is located where the ocean water temperatures are just sufficiently warm for upward reef growth to keep pace with the rate of subsidence is said to be at the Darwin point. Islands in colder, more polar regions evolve towards seamounts or guyots. Warmer, more equatorial islands evolve towards atolls, for example Kur Atoll. Reginald Aldworth Daly offered a somewhat different explanation for atoll formation, islands worn away by erosion, by ocean waves and streams, during the last glacial stand of the sea of some 900 feet, 270 m, below present sea level developed as coral islands, atolls, or barrier reefs on a platform surrounding a volcanic island not completely worn away as sea level gradually rose from melting of the glaciers. 
discovery of the great depth of the volcanic remnant beneath many atolls such as at Midway Atoll favors the Darwin explanation, although there can be little doubt that fluctuating sea level has had considerable influence on atolls and other reefs. Coral atolls are also an important place where dolomitization of calcite occurs. At certain depths water is undersaturated in calcium carbonate but saturated in dolomite. Convection created by tides and sea currents enhance this change. Hydrothermal currents created by volcanoes under the atoll may also play an important role. Investigation by the Royal Society of London into the formation of coral reefs In 1896, 1897 and 1898, the Royal Society of London carried out drilling on Funafuti Atoll in Tuvalu for the purpose of investigating the formation of coral reefs to determine whether traces of shallow water organisms could be found at depth in the coral of Pacific atolls. This investigation followed the work on the structure and distribution of coral reefs conducted by Charles Darwin in the Pacific. The first expedition in 1896 was led by Professor William Johnson Solars of the University of Oxford. The geologists included Walter George Winniff and Edgeworth David of the University of Sydney. Professor Edgeworth David led the expedition in 1897. The third expedition in 1898 was led by Alfred Edmund Finckh. United States National Monuments On January 6, 2009, U.S. President George W. Bush announced that several remote Pacific islands under U.S. jurisdiction were now national monuments, protecting coral reefs. Number 1, page 14.